Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. Happy New Year. It's officially 2020. And we have the first episode in the new year of I Don't Give a Shit News, okay? I don't give a shit! I know we haven't had one of these in a while, but this story was definitely fitting. So what's going on on I Don't Give a Shit News, you ask? So what's going on is that Gabrielle Union is once again trending for some bullshit, okay? Literally. So what happened is this. This is what Gabby decided to post on social media. If you guys do not know her and Dwayne Wade, they had a huge uh, party at their home for the new year. Lots of folks came through. Here goes a clip right here. All right, so you guys just seen the party atmosphere. Everybody was having a good old time. So once it was time for people to leave, people started calling Ubers because they didn't want to drive home drunk. Okay, well, that makes sense. So then nobody. nobody baby. Gabrielle Union decides to take to social media, and this is what she posted. She says, trying to be responsible and use Uber, and our driver asks to use our bathroom. 15 to 20 minutes later, with a gross emoji face, dude dropped a deuce. I'm pleased we clearly have a home and available reading material that screams, come in, get comfortable, drop the kids off in the pool. Welcome to 2020, folks. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. So that is what she posted on social media, and folks started dragging her. You know, at this point, it's like, why would you post this? One, that's embarrassing for the driver, but the fact is, you allowed the driver into your home. I can see if he jumped out the Uber and said, move, bitch, <laughs> and ran into her home, and then took a massive shit. Move, bitch. He asked you, can I use the bathroom? When somebody asks to use your bathroom, you never know what you're going to get. They may come to just take a quick piss or they may come to chill for 15, 20 minutes and drop the kids off at the pool. That's the risk that you take when you let somebody come into your home and use your bathroom. But my thing is this. She's lucky he didn't pull a smoky. He could have sat in your backyard and took a shit, okay? Smokey, you know I ain't the smartest man in the world, but from over here, it look like you taking a shit. Instead, he decided to pull a damn John Witherspoon and make himself comfortable and spray once he got done, okay? I'm surprised when the poor man got done taking a shit, she didn't meet him in front of the bathroom door and start cheering and shit. I said, hmm, it stinks in here. There must be a deuce in the atmosphere. I said, hmm, it stinks in here. There must be a deuce in the atmosphere. I said, oh, we, oh, we, oh, stink, stink, stink. Oh, we, oh, we, oh, stink, stink, stink. Girl, if you don't go sit down somewhere, let that man shit in peace. Stupid. Stupid. I just feel like this is tacky. It was unneeded. And I feel bad for the Uber driver. You know what I'm saying? Like, why blast that person? You allowed them to go. He asked, can he use the bathroom? You took that chance, and that's what he did. That wasn't for social media. That wasn't funny. You know, at the end of the day, we're all human beings. You know what I'm saying? When we have to go, we have to go. You don't know if he was sick, if he wasn't feeling well. Let's keep it real. Most people do not like to use the bathroom, especially do number twos at, you know, strangers' houses, fast food restaurants. If you can go home and be in your own bathroom comfortably, that is what that is what a majority of people prefer nobody wants to go to a stranger's home and shit maybe he just wanted to pee and you know some other stuff came out but either way it just wasn't needed gabby you're just doing a bit too much okay i don't know if you're bored at this point because you were fired this tweet wasn't needed 
blasting somebody who's just simply trying to do their job, someone who asks for permission to use your restroom, um, that just doesn't make any sense. If you didn't want him in your home, then when he asks to use a bathroom, just say no. And he could have found a gas station. But to the point where he asks an A-list, well, I don't know, maybe we call her B-list celebrity, um, to the point where he asks you, could he use the bathroom? It was obviously serious because most people are just not going to ask to use a celebrity's bathroom unless they really have to use the bathroom. So to blast the Uber driver, to me was just tacky okay it just was in my personal opinion no one gives a shit gabby let that man take a shit in peace you didn't need to blast him on social media okay anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know what you guys think of this first episode of i don't give a shit news 2020 i don't give a shit how do you guys feel about gabrielle union basically blasting this poor uber driver telling all his damn business as if he shoved her and then ran to her bathroom and took his shit like she gave him permission to come into the house and now she's blasting him because he did something that she wasn't expecting like like what kind of shit is this literally okay so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping let me know your thoughts make sure you guys hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit the thumbs up don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be down with our notification squad so let me know your thoughts on this episode of i don't give a shit news all right deuces can you shut the fuck up for the rest of your life you a dumb ass bitch that tries too hard i don't give a shit